Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my new subscribers and happy Tea Tuesday. This is a collaboration hosted by Life with Patty and Kathy's Favorite Things and I will link to both of those lovelies below so you can check it out. Check it on your friends, see how everyone is doing, make sure they are okay. Today's Tea Tuesday, I'm going to talk to you about all of my card backgrounds. This was a lot of fun to make, but first I wanted to say that I am still praying very hard for the state of Florida. Things are rough here, my friends. We are okay here in South Florida. In fact, the Boy Scout troop, the church, the hospital where my husband works, we all have things that are happening and getting the supplies needed to them and working those convoys. Check in on your friends, your loved ones, and your neighbors here on Florida. I have been through this firsthand. I know exactly what they're going through and it's awful. It is absolutely rough. It's hot here. The supplies are limited. It's hard to get in and out. And there are basic things that, you know, are, are overlooked a lot of times that people may need. Um, think clothing, think bedding, pillows, um, diapers, pet supplies, formulas, uh, canned goods, can openers to open those canned goods, and even uh, mosquito spray, bug spray. It is awful in the aftermath. So please check in and see what you can do in your area and what supplies that they are being requested so that you don't have all of the same thing and none of the little things. But definitely I am praying for my friends, family, and loved ones that are here in my beautiful state of Florida. What is happening new with me? Oh my goodness, I joined a gym, I did. <laughs> my daughter and her boyfriend had joined one and I had been talking about it for a while and so they went, they kind of checked it out and uh, I went yesterday for a trial and I'm, I'm on board, I'm on board. I'm an outside girl, I love to be outside doing my exercise but unfortunately Unfortunately, last year I had an incident which set me way, way, way back. And I can't talk about some of those details, but I can tell you that it was traumatic. It was horrible. It was life changing. And um, I was always outside. I was always very safe. I was always in the daytime and uh, with a lot of people around and in well crowded areas. I always carried something for my protection and still something ended up happening and it um it set me back it really did and uh even though i love to be outside so much i love to go to the parks i love to be out on my bike i love to hit the trails all of that had to stop it just none of that could continue so i ended up kind of like sinking inward and I, I did the one thing that I said I wasn't going to do. I said this was not going to define me or determine who I was or how I was going to do things and that's exactly what it did because there are certain things that you know there's little triggers, there's PTSD, there's I would jump a lot and I would you know see a certain thing and I would just uh, all right <laughs> sorry we're gonna move onward I joined a gym I did so far so good uh, a lot of it is self-explanatory uh, you get on a treadmill or on the bicycle or the stairmaster and you, you kind of figure it out they're there to help if you need the help but I tend to kind of like figure things out on my own and uh, I'll let you know how it's going so far there's a, a gym that they are building by my house that I am dying to join and that's the one that I really really want but it won't be done until like June of 2023 so this is my for now gym and then uh we'll see what happens so far I am I think it's going to be a pretty good match for me so onward we go both uh baby stepping and running <laughs> these are some beautiful backgrounds sometimes I don't have time to make some cards so pick a card any card I get started on parts of cards before I do the whole thing and I got all my distress oxide inks and my blending brushes and I decided to just have some fun and this was one of the first ones that I did and I did mess it up a big time not only die cutting it twice didn't realize that but I spilled my Starbucks on it but that's okay I wanted to show this to you anyway because this is what you can do you can just take a stamped image one that's a little big like that and you can use it for a focal point and here's one all right, here's a sentiment. You can do something like that and make an instant card. There you go, with just little things that are right there on my desk. So I'll still be able to use this one and not have to toss it out. And here are the ones that are the keepers. These are the ones that I do plan to use. There you go, this is the sky. 
and this one and then they just this one I changed up the design you can see there and then this is the a2 size one so a standard size card my backgrounds for some Halloween cards and some bat cards this one was a lot of fun to do I wanted to try out some color combinations so I started out with this one and you can see here I went from purple all the way down to the turquoise and here is your tip for the day I did not have my stencil so the only thing I had in my uh, reach at the time that I was working on these was a die cut so I just ran this through a piece of cardstock and it ended up looking something like this so I'll pretend this has a scallop on the top this is actually some mountains <laughs> and I just did this I moved it down so if you don't have the stencil you can always make your own little tip just from me and then here I was doing some color swatching I wasn't sure what colors I wanted to go with so I ended up just kind of playing around with some colors and wasn't really happy with how this turned out but then again look at this I'll be able to use this one as an ocean so I can turn this around pretend again that these are waves I can use this as an ocean scene so love it try not to throw anything out if you can help it over here is another one these are the colors of villainous purple all the way down to I think it's chartered waters the new blue that he came out with it's a vibrant dark navy blue Hi, sweetheart. Mr. Oliver is here. And then um, this was kind of neat. I think this one might work. And a lot of these backgrounds are going to be for some haunted houses. And they take up most of the space here. And here's one that I did. Okay, I still have this one here. As you can see from the size, it takes up, well, we'll pretend like this little haunted house is going to be on here. It takes up a lot of space. So by the time you put the trees and the the floor, the, the ground, um, and all of the little elements that go around it, it covers up a lot of space. But I did love how that one turned out. And then there's this beauty, super cute. Love, love this one. This one was from the Black Soot Villainous Potion all the way down to another blue. So there you go, my friends. I didn't have time to do a lot of cards, but I definitely do little sections. I put in my crime podcast and I just start blending and I start, you know, doing the backgrounds and then I will build the cards later so these are great these are good to have on hand so that when I am getting ready to make my card they are good to go that's gonna be it for this one my friends I'll be back in about an hour with some amazing hauls I have Dollar Tree and I have five below so excited to share that with you so stay tuned for that and some of that will also be in the boo mail that I've got to get out of this house oh my goodness got to get to that post office all right my friends thanks for watching please remember to like share comment and subscribe especially comment because it helps me find your channel Channel. Follow that hashtag T Tuesday. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Kathy, for hosting. I will see you all on my next video. Bye bye.